616 and now it's time for talking with Joe training camp 2018 edition Joe Rose out of the studio and back out live at Dolphins training camp in Davie Joe some big news over the weekend the Dolphins releasing their first depth chart yesterday the first thing that caught my eye I got to say was when I saw Drake and Gore and a big or in between the two of them so they could be interchangeable for that uh, uh, starting spot what do you think about the changes and what the depth chart looks like this season. Well, I, I noticed a couple different things. Let's start with what you talked about, Gore and Kenyon Drake, uh, both right there as, as co-starters. Uh, Kenyon Drake's going to get a majority of the work. Frank Gore is going to get some carries, and he will be there, as you mentioned. He can catch the ball out of the backfield. But Kenyon Drake is the home run hitter. He's the one that broke the big plays, had a real good, especially end of the season. Uh, he was one guy that really shined. So... I think he comes in 10, 11 years younger. Great speed will be the guy, but Frank is going to play and shown he's still got something left in the tank. The other thing I read into that depth chart, uh, the rookies, if you'll notice, a lot of them were down at the bottom, which just tells me they got to play and earn it before they start moving up because the majority of those guys will be on that roster and they will be moving ahead of the veteran players as we go throughout this preseason. So it's just a matter of time, especially I think Gasicki, who is almost last on the depth chart, will move up at the tight end position. Uh, but it was interesting to see how they're looking at it for this first game. Meanwhile, the coach is going, guys, don't read into the depth chart. I had to do one before the first preseason game. Don't get all salty. We're going to play this <laughs> thing. We're going to rotate, guys. Everybody's going to be just fine. Yeah, don't get too salty. I also noticed yeah. the or between Osweiler and Fails there, so it'll be interesting to see who the true backup QB will That's be. That's one, too. When That'd the season good starts. One. We'll be watching. Joe, thanks so much. We will talk to you tomorrow. Stay cool Lauren, out there. You, Lauren, you were on your A game right there. That Osweiler I'm so excited for football. Fails. <laughs> yeah, I know you are. Backup quarterbacks, both of them going to play a lot this week. Thank you. I'm out of here. I'm jumping into your time. <laughs> and that guy next to you. you got to get back hey, on the radio. <laughs> How about that guy next to you? We Showing up in the LA morning again. The morning. I need more coffee. Ellen, I need more coffee, Ellen, Joe. L.A., you're beautiful, man. It's a beautiful <laughs> effort. Thank you. All Damn. right, Joe. Thanks so Thank much. You. Hey, when you get an ovation from Joe Rose, hey, that's pretty cool. That's a pretty good right? way to he start the week, right? He doesn't do that for everybody. He, hold, he reserves the clapping. Yeah. All right, remember, you can get much more on the fins tonight on Camp Dolphins. It's our nightly wrap-up of training camp right after the late news. And be sure to join the CBS4 sports team for Dolphins Weekly Live. Catch all your fins news. Sunday at 1130 every week during football season only right here on CBS 4 and we are now just three days away from the Dolphins preseason opener. The Finns will host the Tampa Bay Buccaneers on Thursday night. Kickoff is set for 7 p.m. and it'll be followed by the post game and then CBS 4 News tonight all only right here on CBS 4 the official home of your Miami Dolphins. So much Dolphins.